Yeah, so this Euler uh, formula here, uh, I want to show you how we got that. I mean, and the way you get that, it's, it's not necessarily that hard. It is school level maths, although it depends how long ago you were at school, but it is school level maths. Uh, I'll show you how we got it. It uses the binomial theorem. Binomial theorem is something they teach in schools, if you can remember it. Uh, binomial theorem. Okay, well, I'll give you an example of the binomial theorem. It's, it's like this. If you had something like 1 plus x, and I wanted to cube it, so 1 plus x times 1 plus x times 1 plus x, you would have to expand the brackets, which is a bit awkward. It's hard work. But I can write down the answer straight away. I know it's 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. And I know that's the answer straight away because I'm using binomial theorem. If I did a harder one, 1 plus x to the power 5, using binomial theorem, I know it's 1 plus 5x plus 10x squared plus 10x cubed plus 5x to the 4 plus x to the 5. Right. In general, the binomial theorem is about having 1 plus x to the power n. And if you take a general term, okay, it starts with 1, right, and you've got stuff here. It ends with x to the n. But in the middle, let's say you take something like x to the k. And it has a coefficient. It has a, a thing in front of it. There's a formula for that. This is the binomial theorem. And the formula is n factorial divided by k factorial n minus k factorial. So if you put numbers in, the numbers will fall out quite quickly. So if I put 5 in there, if n was 5 and k was 3, I would get what I've done here. Now, in fact, the definition of E is like the binomial theorem. Do you remember it's the limit as n tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. So what I'm saying here, if I let x equal 1 over n in the binomial theorem, a general term would look like this. You'd have 1 over n to the power k, and then you'd have the coefficient in front of it, which is the same thing, n factorial over k factorial n minus k factorial. That's just using binomial theorem. But when n tends to infinity, this stuff cancels out. All that stuff tends to 1, they all cancel each other out, and this coefficient will end up being 1 over k factorial. And so that's where the formula comes from, which is just the sum of reciprocals of factorials. Binomial theorem, it's easy as that. You're then given the choice to stick or switch. With two doors remaining, it seems some of you think this has become a 50-50 choice. Stick or switch, it doesn't really matter. There are two doors. 